All right, hello everyone. This is Exodarian here. I figured it was gonna be a good time to make a new tutorial video for 0.8, seeing that quite a few people have uh, problems with the most recent version, getting it to work and all. There are still a few issues in effect at the moment with regards to multiplayer. Uh, there are some crashes going on there for people. People have been putting in Discord and also on the ModDB page that they're, they're all having trouble with getting the game to run. Uh, errors are showing up or well something that resembles that at least. So let's just say in the past few weeks I have been showing some support to some individual players um, via Discord and so I, I'm pretty sure I figured out most of the, the issues by now which are um, with relation to personal issues on people's PCs at least. So I think I can, uh, I can at least make a good attempt at giving most players the fixes that they need. But uh, of course, disclaimer that there are still some issues that might be in effect. But the fixes that I will provide in this video should at least be capable to allow you to play single player games. So. There could still be a few issues with relation to certain factions, for example, but at least your single player experience should be relatively stable. Anyway, uh, let's just um, get into the little nitty gritty details then. So, well, very, the very first thing you would want to do is obviously you would want to install 0AD. And to download 0AD, you can go to this website. Uh, I'll probably put a link in the description as well, just for, to make sure that people know where to find this. And so you have to click that download button that I just did on the top. And there's a download button for Windows here. There is also macOS and uh, Linux support for the people with those uh, operating systems. That's all good. But uh, anyway, that's the, the version you need. So once you have that version downloaded, you will receive this file right here. And so I would advise to run as administrator. And so uh, when you do that, you have to wait a few seconds. It's, it depends on your, on your system as well. So this is what it shows me. It says, hey, you already have 0AD installed. By this time, I would think that most people who have had a previous version of Hyrule Conquest already have the most recent version of 0AD anyway. Uh, because the previous version, which was Alpha 22, is a long time ago. Anyway, I'm just going to click OK for now, and I'm going to get this. But you will you will see something else, and it will tell you to install it to somewhere in the C drive, which is the default location. I would advise to, to install it to that location. I mean, obviously, if, you, if you're comfortable with installing software like this, maybe you can give it a try to put it into the D drive instead. But... I personally would still do it in the C drive if uh, if you have that space. But um, anyway, I'm not I'm not going to go through this this particular uh, setup because I've already done it many times before, and it's it's very straightforward. You just click next a few times, and so there is uh, all there is to it. One thing before I move on with the actual Hyrule Conquest version is that please make sure to uninstall. The previous Hyrule Conquest version if you have one. So where you will find this is it's in your documents my games 0d mods Hyrule folder. There should be a Hyrule folder here if you already have a previous in a version installed. Either hit uninstall here the executable or just delete the entire Hyrule folder and make sure it's uh, entirely gone. So once you've done that then you can basically download the mod DB version which is the actual mod and you can find that on this page right here the Hyrule Conquest mod DB page I'll probably put another link in the description just for good measure and then you want to have this file right here you can scroll down get 0.8 this is the file you want right here not sure why that says 0.7 that's interesting I'll have to talk to Nev about that so you download that file and then I would also advise to download the low poly patch for 0.8 which is uh, it's a separate edition but um, it um, it allows for some better performance 
So you can also download that one. I won't really show how to uh, install this one I've, because it's the exact same as as the other ones. It's really uh, it's, it's really the exact same process, but it is a separate modification. But anyway, once you have that file, you will receive a zip or a RAR file. I don't remember if it's a zip or a RAR. It doesn't really matter. You can either use um, you can just unpack it using WinRAR. If you don't have something that can open a RAR file, you can freely down download WinRAR. I'm pretty sure you can very easily find it if you just Google it. it takes like uh, like 30 seconds to do or something. Not particularly difficult. And then you you are you have two parts. And a lot of players I have witnessed before is that they only install the first part. And I believe that's some people just don't don't look at it, but also because uh, I believe a previous versions didn't consist of two parts. I believe 0.7 did already consist of two parts, but all the versions before that didn't have two parts. But there are two parts, so make sure that you install both parts. Again, run as administrator. Then this is basically your default location. It's your My Game 0 D Mods Hyrule folder. Now, once you click this next button it should tell you actually because i already have this hyrule version because i installed the actual version as well but if you are installing it it should actually be telling you when you click this next button here that the hyrule folder doesn't exist yet if it tells you that if it doesn't give you that option you still have an older version of hyrule conquest and that's gonna cause some compatibility issues so if it doesn't, if it goes through like it does on mine right now and it doesn't give you any message, then you've done something wrong and you have to delete your Hyrule folder first. Anyway, you just hit next. It's pretty straightforward again. You just install part one, but I've already done it, so I'm not going to. And then you do the same thing for part two. So again, uh, once you run it, it usually takes between five to 10 seconds before it shows up. You have the exact same thing here, of course, when you have part two, it's not going to tell you uh, you don't have a Hyrule folder because part one already created that folder for you. So you go through it like right here. And then once that's all done, you have both 0 AD and Hyrule Conquest 0 0.8 installed. So when that's all uh, said and done, you can go into the game and at this point, if you didn't have a previous version of Hyrule Conquest installed, it probably will already be on the Hyrule Conquest modification because it remembered your local user data. But if you just installed Zero ID and you just installed Hyrule Conquest for the first time, you probably will be on the, on the vanilla version. But anyway, you go into Hyrule Conquest and you activate your Hyrule folder. It will tell you the Hyrule folder here. Make sure that the Hyrule folder is below this 0 AD folder. You have to, It has to be below that in terms of running order. So when you have that, you you probably have uh, the poly po uh, patch as well. If you don't, that's fine. But uh, like I said, I recommend that the po low poly patch. There should be another file here called low poly if you installed that alongside uh, Hyrule Conquest. I don't have it because my development version already has the low poly patch in it. Actually, I think it's this one, but that's an older version, but that's just a separate one that's... Anyway, that's that's local stuff. You don't, you don't care about that. So then when you hit save configuration and um, hit start, or well, it will restart, then it will show you Hyrule Conquest 0 0.8. It says 0 0.5 here, that's a mistake that uh, we may we still have to update that and then if I go into matches then one other thing of note is people have been complaining about the fact that the AI doesn't function for quite a few factions or most of the factions they don't really do anything the only factions that have I would consider full support are the Kingdom of Hyrule and the Gerudo. Those two have full AI support. Nephilim has fiddled around with some of the other AI files for Ordana Province, for the Zora Dominion. So I believe even for Labyrinth as well. But 
at least there is some support for these factions because uh, some of the files have been added. But I personally haven't even looked at any of these factions with regards to AI support. So expect it to be very wonky. The actual images that have this red banner, those factions have absolutely no AI whatsoever. So if you select those, uh, you can play. You can select them as a player, of course. They they function if you run with them as as a player. But the AI doesn't know how to deal with these factions yet. It's all work in progress. So so keep that in mind. Just for the for the people that that are still complaining about the AI. Obviously, feedback is welcome with regards to the AI. But if but I I mean we we are receiving so many questions with regard to, for example, the Moblin AI and the Darknut AI. So why well, they are not doing anything, but that it, it makes sense why they're not doing anything. So, but yeah, if you find any problems with the Kingdom of Hyrule or the Gerudo AI, then yeah, please feel free to post some feedback or of, with regard to that, because those two factions should definitely work with the AI at the moment in this current version. Now there's one final note, or actually a few notes, let me uh, correct myself there. Is that quite a few people, like I mentioned at the intro, they are having trouble with errors, especially if they have previous versions running. And that might be because you still have some outdated user data. So what you have to do is you have to go to your app data roaming 0 AD folder. And the way you can find that is by typing percent app data percent in your Windows search box, like right, like right here. Oh, I did I just misclick that. Like right here. If you type in app data like this, you will find this folder instantly. And so that's the that's the folder you need. Let me just go back there. So make sure that you delete that config folder. That's number one. And there is also in your app data local folders, another zero AD folder, and there's a cache folder there. Now, I'm not sure how much issues this might cause, but just for safety's sake, I would also delete this cache folder. And also, of course, once you delete these two files, the, both the config and the cache folder, make sure that you restart the game. It will reinstantiate these uh, local files in your app data folder. So now that's done. Technically speaking, the game should work perfectly fine for you. Well, perfectly fine within quotations, of course, because games are buggy. So, so keep that in mind. Another thing of note is that the multiplayer, I've heard well many complaints with regard to multiplayer and apparently the multiplayer crashes all the time. That is still being investigated. So I don't really have an answer to that run out right now. So if that happens to you, then at least you know that we are aware of it and that we're looking into that. But currently, yes, if the multiplayer breaks for you, then uh, that's that's not your fault. That's uh, that's on our side. Just to finish things off, if you're interested in giving feedback or if you're interested in joining the Hyrule Conquest community, then if you would like to know more about Hyrule Conquest, you can go to the wiki page. And as well, if you want to join the Discord, there's this Discord button right here, which you can you should be able to join. And there, there are multiple updates with regard to Hyrule Conquest. People are chatting about Hyrule Conquest all the time. If you're interested, then, uh, then feel free to join. Also, if you are uh, interested in um, supporting the creator of the entire project, uh, Undying Nephilim, you can uh, go to his Patreon page. Of course, that is not mandatory, but any, any support that Undying Nephilim receives will, uh, will help him work more on the mod. So that's good. And so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Like I said, if you have any questions or complaints, then you can uh, reach out to either Undying Nephilim or or me or one of the other uh, team members that are uh, that have joined on board since then. So yeah, guys, have a good one and uh, 
have fun playing Hyrule Conquest.